Hello. Today I'm going to do a video on my upright arcade game. This is Ms. Pac-Man. It's a Bally Midway game from 1981. I acquired this and I believe it was 1988. My parents bought this for me as a combination birthday confirmation and I think maybe a graduation gift or something from, from somewhere. But anyways, um, I've had it for, gosh, 25 years now. Is that how long it's been? And I've done a number of things to it over the years, and I just was going to talk a little bit about the, the things I've done and, uh, you know, hopefully get some good discussion here in terms of classic video games on YouTube. Anyways, um, first thing I've done over the years is I've replaced some of the the bezels and such. This one is brand new. It was all nicked up and full of actual cigarette burns when I received it. I also put a new monitor in. This is actually uh, designed for a slot machine uh, monitor. I bought it on eBay about 10 years ago. It's actually a Samsung, but it's nice and crisp and really bright. Um, aesthetically, it's in good shape. Um, I have not done anything to repaint the cabinet, and there are some spots on here that really could, could use touching up. Um, the things I've researched and looked at on the internet state to never um, put anything over a, a painted cabinet because they do sell these decals um, for a few hundred dollars that would just go over these but um, you know most collectors say it's best just to leave the original paint because there aren't a lot of the a lot of these left right now so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that the other side is actually in a little bit better condition okay so here's Miss Pac-Man and if I go ahead and start it up there we go so the one thing about this arcade machine is I have modified it with a uh, kit that I bought on eBay. Notice, notice how I buy everything on eBay. There's a little maneuver I did with my hands here hitting the buttons. And what it does is it brings up a menu here with all sorts of other games. A lot of these are variants of Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. And then there's also a couple other games such as Eyes, Mr. TNT, and such. But anyways, let's say I want to play old classic Pac-Man. So here's regular Pac-Man in the Ms. Pac-Man cabinet. Go ahead and give it a credit. Let's go ahead and start it. This is actually um, one of my favorites because I like the sounds on Pac-Man better. Love that sound. It's just kind of fun. So anyways, um, that's Pac-Man. If I go back into the special menu, let's go and take a look at... Uh, let's go, let's try, there's a game called Eyes. I think this was a Rockola game. It just happens to work on this motherboard, so whoever put this, this mod, this chip together, put this on here. Let me give it a credit. Down here is a button that gives you credit, or I could actually put coins in because it is fully functional down here. Okay, here we go. It's, it's another variant back in the day that, that companies were doing to try to spin off a Pac-Man and make a buck. Not a very good game, but nonetheless, it's an option on here. So, one other thing. Let's go ahead and start that over. Uh, I also put a Galaga board in here. So, up here is a switch. If I flip this switch, now... Galaga is going to boot up. And this is an actual Galaga PCB, so it's authentic from the time frame. No computers in here, just the actual motherboards that uh, were normally in the games. So here we go. Here's Galaga. And this is actually my favorite game. If I had the option of redoing all this, I would have switched this out and would have gotten a Galaga because this is just my all time favorite game. So let me go ahead and start this. I have wired everything so that the controls, the buttons and such work for both games. It was a little bit of a trick, but um, it was tricky to do, but basically it doesn't matter whether you're playing Ms. Pac-Man or Galaga, everything works fine. And the fire button is actually the player one button. Okay, so we've got Galaga playing here. I'm going to go ahead and just let this go, and I'm going to go to the back of the game and show you a couple things that uh, you may want to see from an ins inside perspective. Okay, so back here you're going to see the new monitor that I put in, and this is a, uh, if you look here, it actually is a, actually is a Samsung, 
as I mentioned earlier, it's probably loud. The game is loud until the, all the ships die off. Over on the left is the Pac-Man PCB. And what you're going to see is that there's a modification right here. There's another board that goes in, and then there's another board. I have it tied up here. But what that does is it turns it into the 96 um, variants in the other games for the Pac-Man. Over here is the Galaga PCB. And I went and mounted this one down here as well. Okay, so we've got both of them. I've dis connected the actual linear power supplies because these were giving off some odd voltages um, and they're very old so these are the big heat generating ones what I've done is I've put in a standard AT power supply and then there's also uh, there's a power supply from a 386 computer so those are down here and each one is powering whether it be the Pac-Man or the Galaga now you'll notice um, there's some relays here there's a relay system um, my camera light's going on and off. It's out of detecting. The relays will switch the, the connectors and the video and the power between the games based on the switch I put in front. So, um, you know, it's, it's fully integrated in terms of a relay system so it can switch between games. That was really tricky to do, and it was the first time that I did that, but um, it works well, and I've had no issues whatsoever. So, anyways, um, so that's the inside. It was a lot of fun to do this. I, I did my initial modification probably around 1998. Then I put the Galaga game in in around 2001. And uh, I've actually then gone back and even cleaned up some of the wiring. Because the first time I did this, I didn't do a great job. Um, I just kind of put wires everywhere. But now I've actually marked things and I bundled things together so I know exactly where things are going. So, um, so that's that. And then there's a bag of, these are all the chips that are no longer being used. These are the boards that came out of the Pac-Man. I just put them up here for now. Actually, I bumped the power switch. There's an interlock here on the case. But that's the back. And again, there's the front, and it's booting up. So that's one of my projects, one of my hobbies. Um, I don't play it very much, but uh, that's that. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this and got a little bit of education in terms of some things that you can do with a upright, upright video game. Thanks for watching.